Good morning, Banner students. Happy Wednesday. You know, yesterday was kind of special. It was not only Cinco de Mayo, which is May 5th in Spanish, but it was also uh, hats off to your teachers for Tuesday in, in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. So hopefully you had a chance to wear your favorite hat yesterday while you were studying. And hats off to our teachers because we do have just an incredible staff and I hope you've had a chance to let them know how much you appreciate them because uh, they have been working really hard and and even if they're not doing the remote learning even if they haven't done that they just care for you guys so much and I hope you you realize that because I they, they tell me I meet with them every week and they tell me how much they miss you all the time uh, today is super special Wednesday this is an opportunity for you to Think about your non-classroom teacher people, all your specials, your, your PE, your music, your art, world language, technology, um, maybe ESL, uh, all of those, the counselor, we can keep going on and on. But um, recognize, reach out to one of them and just let them know how much you appreciate them as well too. Tomorrow is Thursday, which is Superhero Day. Well, those teachers that are teaching you every day, they are like superheroes. And um, we feel that, that that they deserve this superhero status because they are superheroes. So um, you can wear something superheroish or just, just again, wish your teacher a, a thank you because they are such a superhero. And you know, speaking of um, a super special Wednesday, um, I had the opportunity to meet with Mrs. Rivera, our world language teacher. So uh, I happened to catch her while she was at the Toyota dealership. Let's see how she's doing. <laughs> well, hello, Mrs. Rivera. Hola, uh, how are you? Good, co co you mean, como esta? Como estas? <laughs> como estas, ooh, <laughs> I said that wrong. <laughs> well, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. You celebrate yes. yesterday, or, or do, what, what's Cinco de Mayo all about, first of all? Um, it is just a celebration. Um, most people think that it is Mexico's Independence Day, and it actually is not, as that is on the 16th of September. Um, but yeah, we love to celebrate it. Um, this year, sadly, we really didn't get to do much with it just because of the fact of the quarantine that's kind of happening. Um, so we didn't really get to do much of a party, but that's okay. There will be many other years that we'll get to celebrate um, and hopefully with our students so that we can have a little bit of fun, a little bit of celebrating inside of the classrooms when we get to come back. So yeah. Well, what is a what's something you typically do on, on Cinco de Mayo? What what is a tradition and what is a maybe memory you have? Um, well, definitely we have a lot of different foods. So definitely tamales, which is like a big Mexican like food that we love to eat. Um, with our arroz mexicano, which is our Mexican rice. Um, and then we have a piñata filled with dulces, which is a piñata filled with candy um, that we kind of just uh, come together and we kind of try to break it. And then of course, eat all that candy up. Um, and then definitely desserts. We have like tres leches and we've got the flan. Um, my favorite is the tres leches. Um, that's one thing that I don't like is the flan. It's kind of gross for me, but a lot of Hispanics love it. I don't care for it. Um, but yeah, just a lot of family time and a lot of just getting to spend uh, quality time and just getting to do some fun stuff, so. Well, what, what are you looking, once this is all lifted, this shelter in place, what are you most looking forward to that you haven't been able to do since you've been oh. quarantined, so to speak? Oh, man. Well, I think the biggest thing is just being able to take a vacation. We were looking forward to taking a vacation for um, our daughter's third year, birthday that she had in March. We were going to take her to St. Louis, to the zoo because she loves animals and then the new aquarium that they opened up at Union Station and then it was such a bummer because it was this summer we were going to take her to Disney and with everything now we don't get to take her yet so oh. it gives us enough time to just you know save a little bit more for some more fun stuff but either way we are looking forward to just some family vacation time and not like family in the house time <laughs> yeah. are you cooking a lot more at home or are you eating out more 
Oh my gosh. Cooking so much more, which is totally fine. I do love to cook, but I've been baking so much more, which probably isn't a good thing um, because that's going to make me gain a few more pounds. <laughs> but um, I've enjoyed getting to cook and, and bake for my family, which I don't do usually in the school year. So. Gotcha. gotcha. Do you have uh, something you'd like to say to our Bobcats out there for encouragement or just whatever you want to say? Um, Bobcats, just know that I really do miss you guys. Um, I love each and every one of you all. Uh, I appreciate all that you guys are doing. And um, know that even though I'm just a specials teacher and I only see you for 25 minutes, twice a week know that even that time I really do see it valuable and I love getting to see you guys and just um, you know see your smiles and your laughs and your fun stories and I really can't wait until we get to be back in the classroom together. <laughs> All right Mrs. Rivera um, I, I can't do this in Spanish it's in English though I have a joke <laughs> for you would you like to hear it? Oh, yes I'd love to. And this joke was given to me by Jade do you know who Jade is? Oh, yes, she's our first grader. Mm-hmm, yes. Jade, uh, sing me this joke. And the question, or the joke, or the question is, where do you learn how to make ice cream? I don't know. Where do you learn how to make ice cream? In Sunday school, of course. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Great job, Jade. I love that. Was that was a great one. I love it. I love it. So, well, I appreciate you joining me today, Mrs. Rivera. And Thank and you, know you what? so much for having me. Well, it was great to see Mrs. Rivera. And uh, I've got a little poem that's uh, written by Ken Nesbitt in 2005. So 2005 was a long time ago, way, way back in the dark ages when they had these things called iPods. You know, it used to, it plays music and you have your headphones on, but it's an iPod, not an iPad. But um, imagine like a student having an iPod in class, if that would be distracting or not. So here is the, here is the uh, a poem for our teachers. It's called, My Teacher Took My iPod. My teacher took my iPod. She said they had a rule that I couldn't bring it into class or even to the school. She said she would return it. I'd have it back today. But then she tried my headphones on and gave a click on play. She looked a little startled, but after just a while, she made sure we were occupied and cracked a wicked smile. Her body started swaying. Her toes began to tap. She soon was grooving in her seat and rocking to the rap. My teacher changed her mind she said it's now okay to bring my iPod, my iPod into class. She takes it every day. <laughs> oh, our teachers have a lot of fun. Um, they have really, uh, hopefully they, you've been able to see a personal side to them as well with the remote learning and students. Um, we just, Banner would not be the same without this amazing group of teachers. So uh, reach out to them, tell them how much you appreciate them. I know they love you. And uh, teachers, students, and all of you guys, you belong here. And let's see if we can time this. Students, you guys always know that. You, you belong <laughs> here. That was awful. I wonder if there's a delay. Let's see. Should we try it again? <laughs> okay. Right, students, you guys always know that. You, you 